Lawyers for work. Shares more info on the Tory and Megan trial. All right, we wrapped up the first day of Tory Lane's trial testimony. Let me tell you what happened at the end of the day. This will be a two-parter on this first part. Let's cover what prosecutors believe is their key piece of evidence after the testimony they expect to get from Meg and the other woman who's in the car. So here's the prosecutor's point, that there's a jailhouse phone call. Reminder to everyone, when you get arrested and you're sitting in jail, they are listening, they are recording. What you say on that phone will be used against you. According to prosecutors, Tori calls the other woman who was in the car, Kelsey, and basically admits to shooting and apologizes profusely to her. The problem with that theory, according to the defense, is that, well, he never says he shot her. He's just apologizing profusely, and he could be apologizing for a lot of things. According to the defense, the apology is for basically blowing up Kelsey's spot and revealing that he had been in a relationship with both of them. What side will the jury to believe? It's way too early in the evidence. That call on its own means nothing. In fact, the uh, evidence that was presented was through a detective. They asked that detective, hey, when did you listen to this jailhouse call? What can you tell us about it? He basically said, yo, I heard it last week. They asked me to go retrieve it from the system. I retrieved it. I'm playing it here for y'all today. What does it mean? What does he mean? What's he talking about? I don't know that from that. So I couldn't really tell you. And, and he can't. And the jury is going to be looking at the rest of this evidence to really decide that, hey man, when this guy's calling Kelsey and saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, what's he talking about?